everybody. Uh, this is Dr. Rick here. Uh, look, uh, I'm going to get right into this, but first and foremost, uh, hope you guys are having a great week. Um, closing it out on a strong note. Um, got to forgive the glare um, for a moment anyway. Um, but um, I am going to talk to you about this Jada and Will thing. Uh, and some of the things I'm going to say are probably surprise some people, maybe not all. Um, I try to look at things from a clear lens and not so much necessary from personal experience. Uh, so I, I tend to see things sometimes differently uh, than most. But um, anyway... Uh, once again, thanks for all the love. You guys are really helping me get through this. So again, thank you uh, for the condolences and the well wishes concerning my mom. Um, her home going celebration is next Saturday. Um, giving all our Louisiana people time to make their arrangements and everything they need to do to get here. Uh, but keep us lifted. Definitely my baby sister. Just not taking it well uh, and I mean not well at all uh, really concerned about her so keep her lifted um, if you know me and you've communicated with me and you want to inbox me her name because some people like to pray with names uh, I'm careful about putting my family out if you notice I really don't mention names um, but uh, I'm careful about that but anyway if you want to inbox me and you know me or email me or text me um, I'll tell you the name. Um, those of you who know me, know me, know. But uh, again, thanks. I'm kind of rambling. Uh, get to talking about my mom's. But anyway, um, uh, I had a, a crazy day yesterday talking about this. I've tried my best to avoid it. Uh, if you like what you hear, hit the like button. If you uh, really like it, share it. If you want to keep up with what goes on on this channel concerning black development, black growth, black empowerment, um, current event news, uh, subscribe. Um, for those of you who have followed me and know what I do, we're in the middle of a big research fundraiser, uh, deal with programs with mental health, and that's uh, predominantly uh, dealing with the male population because of a homeless and incarceration issue, but also for our females, you know, dealing with trauma and uh, trauma healing, trauma injury, traumatic injury, and, and, and a number of other things that I've written on. If you believe in the work I've done over 30 years in these areas, epigenetics, adverse childhood experiences, uh, generational trauma, and trauma healing, um, back me on this and show some love and support. The way you can give is in the description box. Now, Jada and Will. Uh, I'm on my way to the gym. I really was trying to avoid talking about this because I'm so tired and sick of it. Um, you know, there's so many different lenses to look at this from. Uh, I want to address one up front. For the people who are saying Will know what he got into, they had an open marriage. Uh, I don't think nobody signs up to get done like he's being done. And I think people have to understand open marriages have rules. Swingers have rules. Don't ask me how I know and no, I'm not a swinger. I am a very, very monogamous person. I don't want to share shit. So no, I, I, but I have been in environments where I have seen them and know how they operate. They have a bunch of rules. Like when they walk in the room, before you can even touch another man's woman, you have to ask permission. And he has to grant it. He has to okay it. It's not a free for all. So if that's not a free for all, you gotta understand open marriages have rules. And everybody's talking, somebody's talking about this Heidi person. I, number one is this is why I don't get down with sharing. Now for the, the poly people out there, uh, and, and, and y'all want to get down? I'm not. I'm not dogging you. It's just my. It's not my thing. And you know, I understand actually where it comes from, and I understand what you can do with it. 
I understand a lot of different things about it. It's not my thing, you know, so this isn't me taking shots, but I'm not a sharer. And uh, I'm not going to ask a woman to share me. Uh, hell, I know if a man is being honest with himself, one of y'all is enough. So that's another thing. I mean, one of you, and that's my thing, just one of you, if I'm going to love you right, requires all of me. The more I try to split that, the less I can give you. And that's just me. But back to Will and Jada, and that's kind of about Will and Jada. Will comes from a traditional background. Jada comes from some stuff, you know, gammy, whatever they call her, you know, had issues. And we got to all admit this chick ain't over pop. I mean, and, and I mean, all the, 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 the thing with August Asina, that was trying to get as close to pop as she could get. And my whole thing is the only reason I'm addressing this now is because there's a growing group of people out there co-signing it. And they're co-signing it through the lens of their own pain and experiences. And what I'm gonna go out and just straight, straight up say, black male hate. Uh, and, and yeah, women don't, please, please don't start on me. I'm, not today. Uh, because I've defended you and I stand with you and I will ride with you until the day I die. I love me black women. That's all I ever, ever have been with and ever will be with is a black woman. Uh, and I know that there are some men out there that's got black woman hate. It shows up in the conversations. Everything is the black woman's fault. And if that's happening on both sides. But when you sit up and co-sign the toxic behavior that I'm seeing in Jada Pickett, that comes from hatred. That comes from a... Because, let me tell you something. Will signed up. Okay, Will signed up. They can do what they want to in that marriage. Did Jaden sign up for his best friend to end up sleeping with his mama, fall in love, get mad, and fall out with the family, lose a friend because his mom got uh, pock issues? No. Uh, I'm pretty sure that that's not how it goes. Now, that, those, those kids are weird. And... Not because they think freely, because I actually like the fact that they think for themselves, and but they, they they do some weird stuff for me. You know, just they allow way too much movement as far as I'm concerned with those kids. Uh, but like I say, Jaden's got his own water company. From what I heard, he's worth almost a hundred mil right now with his water company and his other stuff that he's got going on, and he's actually giving back into the black community. Uh, so props to that. Uh, he made a ma he, he made a major contribution uh, to the whole Flint water crisis um, and, some, and some other things. So he's doing his his thing. Uh, but um, anyway, those kids didn't deserve that. And my whole thing is, I think everybody knows there are certain things that. No one is ever going to hear me say about any of my exes. And I'm talking exes. Anybody that knows me knows I'm actually pretty protective of the mothers of my children. Um, I, I, I am. I'm very protective of them. Uh, I've never set up, you know, and people get mad at me. Why you ain't telling people this? Why? Ain't none of that damn business what went down, what happened in this and what happened in that. And I'm not talking about any specific relationships, so don't try to draw no conclusions. I'm going all the way back to marriage one. Um, it's a lot. Matter of fact, uh, people that I would get with and get serious with would find out a lot of stuff. And why are you not? Because it's not anybody's business. What's going on between me and her is going to stay between me and her. I don't care if she's out there doing it. I'm not going to do it. Um, I think that that's got to be something about men that want to protect women. Uh, but it also has to be something about women that want to protect men. And I think that we get the whole provider protector thing uh, misconstrued. And we think it's all about getting whatever. Women think it's all about, I need this man to do all this stuff for me and 
doesn't realize the value and importance she should be bringing to his life. And a lot of that is in how she treats him, how she handles him, and how she covers him. I used to always use the whole rib thing as an analysis. Um, uh, you know, they say that God took a rib from Adam and he made Eve, or he made uh, Isha, is in the Hebrew, the woman. And he made her from the rib. And so that's why women have one more rib than men. But I talk about what the ribs represent. The rib is a cage that covers the most vital organs of the body. It is a protection around the things that matter most. The heart, the liver, the kidneys, these things are in there back there and they're protected so that they can do what they do without uh, an external blow causing lethal damage. Imagine if you didn't have a rib cage, somebody punched you in the chest, stop your heart. So that's what it's for. So when I see the woman, I see the rib. I see the woman who, because she's the rib, when she sees the weakness in a man, she doesn't exploit it. She covers it, the rib. She covers it so that he can operate in his strengths while he strengthens his weaknesses. When he's down, she don't kick him. She's the one that whispers in his ear, I believe in you. Get up, dust yourself off. We're going to do this. Those words coming from a woman that he actually cares about carries more force than you can ever imagine. It lifts a man. It empowers a man. It pushes a man. So you have the power and the responsibility of covering him emotionally and psychologically the same way he covers you environmentally and physically. And when that's not working, what happens is you get this dysfunction. So the fact that she's constantly poking this dude publicly with Tupac specifically, uh, a few weeks ago, she was playing a, a video her and Pac did dancing that parents don't understand. Come on. I mean, it would have been bad enough with her posting it with Pop, but they singing this dude's song. Come on. That's, I mean, that, I mean, that's some sadistic type stuff. That is, I'm purposefully hurting you. Now, I'm not saying that Will didn't do anything that hurt Jada in the past. I've heard some rumors and stuff like that. Um, and I'm not defending any wrong he's done. What I'm talking about is one of the, I'm not a cheater. But if I was a cheater and I cheated on somebody and they caught me, I wouldn't try to save the relationship because I know women. Even if I get her to forgive me, I'm going to catch hell somewhere along the line with it. And I'm just not going to go through a thing where I'm going to just let a person just handle me. Now, do I owe you a, a, an apology? Yes. Do I owe you to treat you a certain way from that point on? Do I owe you to maybe have some checks and balances where you can know where I'm at because I don't screw? Yes. None of that stuff I'm arguing with. But do you get to treat me like shit for the next two or three years and then keep bringing that up? Nope. I was wrong. I apologize for it. You can forgive me and we can move on and I can, I can do better. Um, but you're not going to mistreat me. Same thing with if a woman lets me know she doesn't want me. I can't fight that. You can tell me anything else, but you don't want me. And we can figure it out. You don't want me means I'm already at a disadvantage. And I'm probably going to be mistreated. So you got to get away from that. And that's my whole thing with Will. Will won't walk away. They keep She keeps saying they, they've been living separate, whatever. But every time something big he's involved in pops up, she's on his arm. My whole thing is... She's got a book release, so she's just going at it. And I mean, I'm she's gonna keep going till she rips his heart out, what it seems like. So whatever it is, is I think, and this is just my opinion, um, that I think that she's literally punishing him for not being pop. She married a former rapper who had a successful rap career. Um who became an actor uh, at the time she got with dude he was one of, he was becoming one of the biggest things in Hollywood he was a 20 million dollar man means he gets paid 20 million a film uh, minimum uh, and so he was on the upswing he's worth 
way more than she is, you know, uh, even with being blackballed right now in the movie industry uh, because of the supposed slap. That's a whole nother thing to me. Um, get on that some other time if I decide to, but what, what all that Hollywood bull crap. And see, that's the other thing. They in Hollywood. It's a whole lot of debauchery and treachery and bull crap going on just to be on in Hollywood. And that comes with some things. So you throw that in the mix and it's all screwed up and you got your kids being rid of that. That's why I got mad love for Denzel and his wife. Uh, I'm sure they have issues. I'm sure there have been some things that done went on. I heard some rumors. Um, uh, but what I can tell you is he's protected that woman for all I can tell. And based on what she said, uh, he's very respectful of her, but they reared their kids traditionally. Uh, you didn't see a lot of them until they came out. Now they're all, they're both acting. Uh, but you know, my thing is there are a few you look at and say, okay, I, I like that, but you got kids walking around that, uh, Twitter celebrities, boys wearing dresses and all kind of bull crap, just all kind of stuff. And it's normal and it's accepted and it's cool and all the other stuff that's going on. And like, uh, it's, it's a mess, but, um, to the sisters that's co-signing this, would you want somebody to treat your son that way? And this isn't again, by making Will a victim, this is looking at what it the message it sends to young black girls and i'm telling you brothers are looking at this and going uh-uh can't do it won't do it and the and i'm talking about the good guys the good guys that want a good woman i mean every time i see some of the stuff i see on social media about what women are saying and i know women can say the same thing about some of the stupid ass shit men say. So, but I'm, I'm getting to this Jada thing because I talk about what we don't do all the time. I'm constantly on my brothers about how they treat our, 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 our sisters. But ladies, you can't co-sign that toxic behavior. That's, that'll destroy a family, a house. That'll, that'll, that'll cause violence. That'll create a bunch of other stuff that's unnecessary. You don't want that man? Leave him alone and leave him alone. It's real simple. If he ain't the man you thought he was, leave him alone. Walk away from him, let him go, let him heal, let him figure it out. Brother, same thing though. If you don't want her, let her go. Tell the guys that when they come, want to take my, take my daughter. If you can't treat her right, you don't, you decide you don't want her no more, don't you dare hurt her, bring her back. Bring her back here and she can be under my covering but I expect you to cover her the same way that I covered her. And I think that the absence of manhood, and the thing is, Will had his dad in his house. That was some contention and stuff like that from what I understand, but he had his dad in his house. But when you have a, a gen, two or three generations, where I mean, literally, since, I mean, we went from 75% of home, black homes being uh, two-parent households in 1960 to 73%, 74% now being single-parent households. Uh, and you got a bunch of young women uh, who are coming from destructive environments, rearing kids with the mindset that was created by that destructive environment. And then you're getting the outlet of it. It's, it shows in the violence. It shows in the criminality. It shows in the lack of sensitivity and care and concern about others. Very entitled, very selfish, very angry. And it's up to us to do something to change that. So my whole thing is she needs to deal with whatever she's been through. She's been through a lot. And, and, and I'm not taking that from her, but she needs to find a way to heal because, I mean, I mean, you know, for this dude to get up, and if he did actually slap this dude, for him to get up and do that in defense, of, which what says is he's trying everything he do to show you he can be what you want him to be. And your thing is to sit up and say, I don't even know why he called me his wife because we've been separated, he, he, you know. And I'm like, you know, um, I mean, we haven't been together. We haven't, I mean, 
you know, just shot after shot after shot after shot. Go do your thing. You didn't you didn't you didn't nailed them to the wall. Go do your thing. But again, on the flip side of this, and I'm done, because I need to be in the gym actually doing something. But on the flip side of this is Will's gotta be a man enough to walk away. I'm never gonna be somewhere where I'm not wanted. I don't care how much I love you. I'm never gonna be somewhere where I feel I'm not wanted. I don't, the, the wanted thing is necessary for me to be there, but the needed thing and the respect thing is what I'm looking at. Do you respect me? Do I see a place where I'm needed? Because the need plants me there. The want is situational. You want me now because I'm doing what you want me to do. You won't want me tomorrow when I tell you no. Uh, but if you sit up and say, man, the way this man covers me, the way the, this man speaks into my life, the way this man supports me in my dreams, the way this man sits up and provides, I need this man. See, I, I got an anchor now because you need me. That means even when you upset at me, you're looking like, man, I want to cuss this motherfucker out, but I need him. I want him to kiss my ass, but I need him. See, that is how I operate. Now, I think most men, you know, in doing my research, when I wrote When Your House Is Not A Home and when I wrote, um, um, uh, oh, man, read so many books, what we want pop in my head right now, but, um, it'll pop in after I get off of here. But anyway, uh, the two books I wrote on marriage, uh, when I did the research on that, men want respect. We want to be loved, but that even, that's not even two. When men, number thing, number one thing man wants is respect. Treat me with respect. Number two, I want to be needed. I need a place that I belong, something that I belong. That was the biggest part of me going through my divorce is I really belonged it, to that, that role of these. this is my family and I'm going to do it. And then being in a situation where I'm not in the home, I'm still connected to the kids and I'm still connected to her. We still communicate. We still deal with each other. But that not having that belonging is what hits because that's what I'm anchored in. I'm making it. This is my, this is my thing I'm responsible for, you know? And so that thing right there is something I think we need to work on as men too. Uh, one of the things that I've done over the last year and a half is work on me, work on me, be good with me, be the best me I can be, understand who I am and know that whoever is going to be the person in my life moving forward, uh, God, and I'm not dating, so I don't know how it's going to happen. I don't know, but the dating thing, not doing it. Every time I wake up and look at something, it just the word for it, I'm not dating. But anyway, the person that's in my life is going to have an even better version of me. I think I'm a good. I think I'm a great man. Actually, I think that I love hard. I'm committed. Um, I'm monogamous. Um, extremely loyal. Uh, so, but but the goal is to wake up every day and be better than the person that went to sleep that night. So, uh, the night before. So again, uh, our challenges, we got a lot of work to do. Uh, I know I was probably all over the place. You guys forgive me, but I think I made the point. Uh, I'm about to get out of here again. If you guys believe in the work I do, uh, we need your support right now. We're taking on, we're undertaking some pretty big endeavors and it's not going to happen um, with the type of support we're getting now. I'm doing, I'm going to do the best I can, but we need a great deal of support. We need to treat this the way we, need, we, we we feel about what's happening to us because that's going to be what changes it. So on that note, I might have you guys have an unbelievable remainder of your day. I'm finna hit this gym.